What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Beastly Gamer channel. I'm sitting here chilling, and uh, I got some news to share with you guys about PlayStation and about security features. Now, a lot of you guys might not know this. My identity was actually stolen about two years ago. I called my banking institution. I was actually making a purchase on PlayStation Network. I called my bank to, to make sure that you know everything went through with it, and they told me everything was fine. And I hung up, and then immediately, like 10 seconds later, I got a, a phone call. Uh, and it was from a man who happened to be Indian, and he told me he was calling from Chase Bank Fraud Prevention Services. That was my failed attempt at sounding like him. But uh, he, he asked me for a lot of information, and I believed him because he called right from, as soon as I hung up, he told he said, you just called Chase, right? I said, yes. He said, we're just calling to make sure everything's okay with your account. And he got all my shit. And here I am, you know, in my mid-30s, stupid enough to give this guy passwords and everything. And my wife, you know, she she's younger than me. She was like, wait, he's asking you questions that don't make a, a lot of sense. Because my wife worked for Apple at the time. She was like, nobody's supposed to ask you for your passwords or anything like that. She was like, just call the bank and see if they had him call. So I called the bank and they were like, no, we didn't have anyone call you. Then I gave the, the bank uh, teller this guy's phone number. And she called and then she put me on hold and she called me back. And she, and she put, then she got me back on the line and she said, sir, we think... Uh, that your uh, account has been compromised and then I gave her his because he had a badge number an ID number I gave her his ID number and she said that was definitely a compromised ID number and so I was like oh shit <laughs> I was super frustrated I was running around well the reason I was running around because she put me back on hold to get her manager and when she put me back on hold all these withdrawals start coming out of my account I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, this guy was buying some kind of cell phone card or something that he could turn in for cash or some shit and you know I had never had my ID stolen before nobody had ever tried to scam me before for anything so I it was my first reaction to panic because she had me on hold so I got my wife's phone I'm still on hold with her I called the bank for my wife's phone I told them what was going on anyway they stopped it you know they stopped the guy from having access got a whole new account all new information and everything worked itself out but as someone who knows what it's like to have someone take from you it's like the most intimate kind of theft that you could have, you know. You you work hard for your family and all of a sudden some guy or girl who you have no clue who they are all of a sudden comes out of nowhere and tries to scam you. Those are the people you want to kill. And that's how I felt about this guy for a long time. Now, in, in the past, there's been instances, many instances on PlayStation where people have had their credit card information obtained through uh, questionable means. The PlayStation hacks that have happened over the, the last few years are good examples of people's identification and uh, pertinent information being released and given away to people who are, you know, kind of negative actors. Sony is finally doing something with the PlayStation Network that's going to help push things in the right direction when it comes to security. I'm actually really happy to report about this. You guys might be shocked. I'll drop a link in the description. Sony is finally adding a much requested security feature to the PS4. As part of the PS4 Update 4.0, Sony will follow Microsoft's lead and introduce a two-step authentication system to PlayStation devices. In theory, this would make it harder for hackers to obtain account records including credit card information stored on consoles. According to Press Start, the feature will be rolled out in Australia and New Zealand first before hitting other regions in the coming weeks. As part of the two-step authentication process, PS4 users would be required to input mobile phone numbers. Sony would send unique passwords to phones after any new login attempt. PS3 and PS Vita users will also get additional security measures in the form of a separate device code on top of existing passwords. PS4 Update 4.0 looks set to address countless long-running issues with Sony's console, including the lack of folders and homepage organization, yes, codename Shinjin, the update lets users create folders on the PS4 content launcher and library. According to Sony, quote, this will help collect your favorite games and select apps in one place for quick and easy access, end quote. The library will also be overhauled as Sony adds a new tab for purchase content. PS4 users will also be able to sort the library and search for content and games via text input. Other new features include a UI refresh, which includes new system backgrounds and a revised what's new app. Smaller tweaks include updated pop-up notifications and redesigned system icons. The quick menu has also been overhauled, something which Sony hopes will make it quicker and easier to use. It's also customizable. Elsewhere, the PS4 share menu will now cover a smaller portion of the screen. 
while video uploads have been extended from 10 seconds to 140 seconds. Trophy improvements include the ability to view trophies offline, as well as a button that lets users view the content of a hidden trophy. This whole thing sounds really incredible. Uh, I'm really happy about that. I love the idea of uh, the, the library overhaul and being able to put your favorite games in a folder. That is going to make my life so much easier. I have like 200 games on my PS4. So that's going to make things a lot easier. But this video, the purpose of this video is to really talk to you guys about the security aspects of what they're doing. The two-step authentication is really great. I love using that. You know, i got a banking system that does the same thing. And it makes it a lot harder for, you know, sly and sneaky actors to gain access to your stuff. I actually came up with an idea a few years ago. I never went anywhere with it. I wouldn't have known where to go with it anyway. But Sony has, like, the best possible home security system right in the PlayStation 4. They have the PlayStation camera. All they got to do is create something that allows you to sit your camera on top of the entertainment center at nighttime. And it could, you know, be set for movement. And if someone moves, they could come on and start recording and upload directly to the cloud. And it could be called the PlayStation Spy. That was my idea. The Beastly Gamer came up with that a few years ago when PlayStation 3 had the PlayStation Eye. The PlayStation Spy. If you do that, you can upload footage 24 hours a day, like say for instance, Sony wanted to have a pay to pay service. You pay $10 a year, $15 a year, and you get unlimited storage space for your videos, or maybe 50 gigs worth of videos, and you got to go in there and delete. But if you leave that shit on all night long, and somebody breaks in your house and even steals your PlayStation 4 or your TV, you got them on video. Sony, get on the ball. That's the kind of security that we need. We want the ability to just watch shit. I got a camera in my house, so I'm not worried. But some people don't have cameras set up to see what's going on. And the PlayStation Spy is a great idea. <laughs> you guys let me know what you think about PlayStation Update 4.0 with the new two-step authentication, also the new bells and whistle for the library, uh, looking at trophies offline, and the little features that they've added here. I think it's going to be a great update. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've ever suffered uh, any kind of identity theft, you know what I'm talking about. It's a really rough thing to deal with. But... Uh, you know, you can overcome any adversity and you learn from it. See, I've learned quite a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, Carl.